Essentially a hairy avocado, Susan's design was graphically and geometrically simple, but necessitated technical complexity in order to enable a fully rounded performance. He lacked a neck and shoulders, his limbs were gangly tubes, and his body a ball, and he was covered in hand-sculpted silicone fur. Susan's metal armature included mechanisms for inhaling and exhaling, belly movers, and squash and stretch devices in order to convey a sophisticated interpretation of childlike innocence, loneliness, and a Chaplin-esque physical comedy. Susan was the most human character in the movie, but the least human puppet in the cast. An extensive exoskeleton was developed to achieve his nuance of performance. What do you mean? Uh, uh, you must choose a name. Susan's facial performances were achieved by using Leica's award-winning 3D printed replacement animation system. In order to achieve the right balance of naturalism, comedy, and charm, the team elected to use brand new voxel printing technology. <coughs> this feels very confined. In total, he had over 27,000 unique facial expressions. In order to animate the fur around Susan's face and ensure that it was in sync with the facial expressions, the team had to engineer a complicated animating driver system. Chest circumference 70 inches, total weight around 650 pounds. Well, I would say it's more like, uh, you know, 630 pounds. No, it's, it's the hair that makes me look heavier, I think. It's, it's, a, it's a little deceptive. It can be frustrating. Oh. But look at the size of those metatarsals. Whoa, sir! Wow, your hands! Do you mind if I smell you? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, I bathed recently, you know, like two weeks ago in a creek. Uh, so sure, you didn't drink from the creek, did you? <laughs> to achieve the most naturalistic and emotionally resonant performance, live action acting reference was shot and used by the animators. <clears throat> they didn't scream, didn't turn and run away like most people do. They just, they just smiled. And that smile meant the world to me.